Hey, it's Tuesday. Time for another Prompt My Story video. I'm Marty Chan, a kid's author, playwright, and storyteller. And if you haven't tuned into my channel, every Tuesday I put out a video with some writing tips and a story starter to help teachers inspire their students to write creative stories. This week, before I give you my story prompt, I'm going to talk about characters in stories. I know sometimes when kids start working on a story, they want to pack in the main characters with their friends. And maybe they have like a dozen friends and they all want to be in the story. And of course, you don't want to hurt anybody's feelings by cutting them out of the story. But you know, describing six different characters, that's a lot of work. You got to describe what they look like, what their personalities are, what they're doing in every step of the story after a certain point. You're thinking, I wish I had fewer friends. Now, I know you don't want to cut your friends out of the story because you think, oh, I'm going to get them mad and then they're not going to invite me to their birthday party. But you know what? If you tell your friends that it's a lot of work to describe all those characters and that you want to make sure you come up with the best story, I think they'll understand, especially if they're trying to do the same thing and trying to find a way to tell you they want to cut some people out of their stories. But if you do have to have multiple characters, make sure they seem different from each other. Now, the obvious way to make them seem different is to describe different things they're wearing. But a really cool way to also get across that they're different is make sure that when something big happens in the story, the characters have different reactions. If they have the same reaction to every single thing in the story, we start to wonder, why did you need two different characters? So somebody reacts like this. Ah! We go, wait a minute, they're both reacting the exact same way. What you want instead is two different reactions from two different characters, and that will make your story interesting. So you might have the two characters react just like this. And by having those reactions, you know that they're different characters, even though they might be wearing the exact same thing. Now, on to this week's story prompt, okay? Remember, a story prompt is just a springboard into your imagination. You don't have to write exactly what you see in the video. Let it inspire you, okay? Here we go, this week's story starter. All right, hopefully that got the wheels turning in your brain. Remember, you can write any genre. It could be mystery, action, adventure, fantasy, science fiction, romance, drama. If you want to make me laugh, try a comedy. If you want to make me cry, write about the childhood that I always had that was full of embarrassment. Anyway, check it out. Have fun with it. And come back next week for another Prompt My Story video. All right, take care. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.